Diversity is a good descriptor of the Southeast Research and Extension Center. Our primary thrust is in pest management with programs in weed science, plant pathology, and entomology. Our pest management work is complemented by our programs in economics and agronomy. The Roar Research Station provides much needed support for our research efforts. In addition, our location, facilities, and associations make for active programs in animal science and horticulture. Weed science at the University of Arkansas has a history of strong performance and CREC makes an important contribution to that effort. Our weed science program at CREC consists of one faculty member, Dr. Ken Smith, three program technicians, five hourly workers, pickups, tractors, equipment, and supplies sufficient to accomplish our tasks. This program is largely self-supported through promotion board funding and industry donations. This team manages their own plots on research stations in order to gain the most obscure observations and to ensure quality control. Their recent accomplishments include providing data for the development of a computer model to predict management practices that delay or hasten development of glyphosate-resistant palmer and barnyard grass, obtaining a patent on a synergistic tank mix of two herbicides, convincing Monsanto to give a rebate on the technology fee if growers will purchase and apply residual herbicides for resistant weed prevention, being chosen by Syngenta as one of only three locations in the U.S. to perform a corn leaf orientation study, partnering with weed scientists at the U of A and Clemson University to write a USDA grant mapping genes of resistant weeds and working with NRCS to develop a cost share program for farmers who practice resistance management to protect conservation tillage. Plant pathology is a productive department in the U of A Division of Ag and CREC makes an important contribution to their effort. Our plant pathology team at CREC consists of one faculty member, Mr. Cliff Coker, one program technician, five hourly workers, pickups, sprayers, equipment, and supplies. This program has been supported by the USDA, the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board, and industry donations. Much of our focus is on soybeans and in recent years on Asian soybean rust. Their recent accomplishments include being selected as recipient of the John W. White Outstanding Team Award for their role in the state's Asian soybean rust education. Careful monitoring and tracking of soybean rust development in Arkansas each year. Discovery of a new soybean disease in southeast Arkansas. Expanded root knot nematode work on the Roar Research Station. And fielding numerous calls on plant disease diagnostics and management. CREC is an important part of the entomology department of the Division of Ag. Our entomology team at CREC consists of one faculty member, Dr. Scott Aiken, one program technician, seven hourly workers, pickups, sprayers, equipment, and supplies sufficient to accomplish our tasks. This program is supported to a large degree by industry donations. State and regional projects make up the remainder of annual funding. Our team works in close association with entomologists at Lone Oak, Kaiser, and Fayette. Their recent accomplishments include red-banded stink bug research, initiating a long-term database for tracking lepidopteran pests in cotton and corn. We're the leaders of a belt-wide project that's evaluating automatic insecticide applications for thrips control. We have various regional efforts for plant bug, spider mite, and three-cornered alfalfa hopper. 
resistance monitoring efforts including bollworm, tarnished plant bug, and cotton aphids, and initiating an IPM gallery on the U of A website. CREC contributes to the agronomy work in the state. Our agronomy team at CREC consists of one faculty member, Dr. Paul Francis, and one vacant position formerly occupied by Dr. Scott McConnell. This program has been supported by the Soybean Promotion Board in recent years. Our recent accomplishments in agronomy include soybean irrigation initiation and termination work, intercropping wheat and soybeans versus double cropping wheat and soybeans, and soybean inoculation studies. CREC contributes to the agricultural economics work in the state. Our economics team consists of two faculty members, Dr. Bob Stark and Dr. Kelly Bryant, and one part-time technician. This program has been partially funded in recent years by the Soybean Promotion Board and Cotton Incorporated. Our current accomplishments in economics include development of the state's soybean production budgets, economic analysis of the Soybean Research Verification Program, contributions to soybean notes, the Farm Management and Marketing Newsletter, the Delta Farm Press, and poster presentations at field days and professional meetings. Publication of one article in the Journal of Agricultural and Applied Economics. Serving as co-investigator on a SAYER submission and serving on review panels for competitive grants. CREC contributes to the animal science mission of the Division of Agriculture. Our animal science team consists of one faculty member, Dr. Whitney Whitworth, one program technician, four hourly workers, 300 acres, 100 cows, barns, pens, pickups, tractors, and equipment. This program is funded by the Experiment Station and UAM. Donations from the animal industry are common, and some support was secured recently from an NRI grant thanks to Dirk Phillips and Ken Carr. We play an important role as a resource to the producers and agents in southeast Arkansas. Our presence in this area is a major tool for our livestock stakeholders. Our recent accomplishments in animal science include serving as one of three locations of a four-year study funded by the NRI, completion of our third Beef Council study, the most recent one focused on creep feeds, Location for and co-investigators on SAYER grant proposal. Publication of one refereed article in the Professional Animal Scientist. Location for and co-investigators on a stream bank restoration demonstration in cooperation with NRCS and the Forest Resources Center. CREC contributes to the horticulture work in the state. Our tomato team consists of three faculty members, Dr. Paul Francis, Dr. Bob Stark, and Mr. Cliff Coker. This program is basically subsidized by other work, but recently was awarded part of a block grant by the Arkansas Agriculture Department. Our recent accomplishments in tomatoes include small plot research on heirloom tomato variety and conducting small plot research on organic tomato production, and responding to county agents' questions on tomato diseases, fertility, and other production practices. Our final contribution to the mission of the Division of Ag consists of research support at the Roar Research Station. Approximately 20 U of A researchers are conducting research on the Roar Station with thousands of plots. Our team consists of one resident director, Mr. Larry Ernest, nine staff, 800 acres, infrastructure and equipment necessary to accomplish our tasks. Our recent accomplishments include celebrating our 50th anniversary and the dedication of a new office building, initiating six research projects related to bioenergy, Improving infrastructure and equipment to make us more productive. 
CREC was the first research and extension center in the University of Arkansas system. January 2008 marked 30 years of service. We are located approximately 290 miles from Fayetteville and almost 100 miles from Little Rock. Our remote location requires extra effort to achieve statewide objectives and collaboration, but our location has its advantages.